Hey guys, Charles here with D2IPDesigns.com. I wanted to go over a uh, Photoshop tutorial with you guys. Um, I wanted to show you guys how to make this uh, shattered image look. Um, it almost looks like the uh, image is sort of melting away or breaking away. Um, it's fairly simple and it looks pretty cool. There are some other tutorials out there. Um, some aren't very good, some are pretty good. Um, there's a few different ways to do this as well. I'm going to show you uh, which way I prefer. So we'll come over here where I have already some, where I already have something set up. Um, so go ahead and take your uh, render or whatever you're doing this to, and um, make a duplicate. Um, the top layer, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stretch it out. Oop, I'm moving it. I meant to stretch it stretch it a good bit um, probably something like that um, you know what I'm not gonna stretch it quite that much I'm gonna do something else to it as well so that looks alright we'll go up to a uh, filter liquify and uh, I'm gonna take this and just kinda stretch this out blow it up a bit. That might be a little bit much, but um, I'm not going to worry about this tutorial. I'm just trying to give you a idea of how to do it. Um, you don't have to do that. You can just stretch it out a lot like what I was doing, but um, different things will give it different looks and just play around and figure out what you like. So um, I'm going to line it up here how I want it, probably something like that. So let's go to layer, layer mask, hide all. Um, now I'm going to go to this layer below here, or uh, below the top layer. Select my erase tool, and then we're going to find a brush we want to use. Splatter brushes tend to work the best for stuff like this. So let's um, something like that, maybe. I don't know. Let's see what all we have in here. Yeah, I'm thinking something like this would be good. Let's try this. Or, yeah, let's do that one. I like this one. Alright. So now that this layer is selected, just go ahead and um, erase away some stuff. Again, this is going to be a little sloppy because I just want to do this quick for the tutorial. I don't want to waste too much time. I just want to give you guys a basic idea of uh, how you can do this effect. Um, Alright, another thing you guys should know, um, if you're looking at a, a splatter brush, maybe something like this, and you want to use it but it's facing the wrong way, just go ahead up here, open this up, um, let me go ahead and turn up the spacing so we can see it better. Go ahead and take this compass looking thing and just rotate it in the direction you want it to go. So now you can see it is uh, facing the right way. So anyway, I'm going to go back to that other brush I was using, wherever it is. Um, is that it? I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, let's go back up to the uh, top layer. Now, this is important. Make sure this black here is selected. See how the picture was selected before? make sure that's selected otherwise it'll mess it all up go to your paint uh, your paintbrush tool um, select the brush you want um, I may just use one that's already selected let me just look through here real quick um, I think I'll use this one actually now, as you notice, there's a uh, it's a bit big on the left side. I'd like the big part to be closest to the uh, leg, so I'm going to open this up, space it out so I can see. I'm going to rotate it to how I want it. So there we go. And now I'm just going to kind of splatter back 
what was uh, missing before. So there you go. That should give you a, a fairly good idea of how to do this. And then um, if you end up with a little bit too much, more than you want, you can just come in here with an eraser tool, make it fairly small so you don't end up erasing too much. And you can just erase whatever you don't want. Like I don't want it back this far. It's a little bit too much in here. So you can just kind of erase what you don't want. And you end up with a pretty cool little splatter effect, uh, shatter effect, whatever you want to call it. And um, if you spend a little time on it, you can do something kind of cool like this. So um, that's it, guys. I just want to go over this real quick, give you guys an idea of how to do this. All right, I'm out of here. Peace.